If your choice of starters were Kakuna, Metapod, or Magikarp, who would you choose? I asked this question to my followers and 80% of you selected Magikarp. So let's give Magikarp a try. And you know what? Let's up the challenge. Let's say that we can only use Magikarp in its evolved form Gyarados the entire run. That's not too bad. Gyarados is one of the greatest Pokemon in all of Kanto, so how hard could it be? All we have to do is get Magikarp to level 20 so it can evolve, and once it does, this challenge will be a walk on the beach. But of course there's a trick with this challenge. Magic Carp, or should I say Flub, only knows Splash, a move that does absolutely nothing. So the moment we choose Flub and challenge a rival, we're screwed because there's no way we can win. Luckily we don't need to beat a rival in order to progress here, and Professor Oak will cover the money we would have had to pay the rival for losing, and we'll need that money for potions later on, trust me. Magikarp doesn't learn any offensive moves until level 15 where it learns Tackle. But, if it's the only Pokemon on our team, how the hell are we going to get to level 15 so it can learn Tackle? Well, it's going to be a struggle. Quite literally, because that's the only way we can attack, is with the move Struggle. When you exhaust all your PP, the Pokemon has no other form of attack other than flailing around, slapping itself into the enemy, and causing 50 damage to the opponent, and one quarter of that damage is dealt back to the user. Splash has 40 PP, so that means we'll have to use it 40 times so it runs out. But while we're splashing, we don't want to take any damage, so we're gonna have to find a Pokemon that can't hurt us. Fortunately, there's Metapod and Kakuta in Viridian Forest that don't know any offensive moves just like Magikarp, making them the ideal target to waste all our splash PP on. We have to be careful and keep track of Metapod and Kakuta's PP because if they use Harden 30 times, they will run out of PP and then they will use Struggle to deal lots of damage to us. That means we'll have to encounter two Metapod or Kakunas just to waste all our PPs. And because they're using Harden, their defense power will be so high, it's more time efficient just to run away and find another Metapod or Kakuna to struggle into submission. As you can imagine, this takes a long time because if we were to heal our Pokemon's HP at the Pokemon Center, Splash would also be set back to 40 PP again, which means we would have to find two more Metapod or Kakuna, which only pops up 15% of the time to get our PP down to zero, and then we would have to flee from battle, search for more Metapod and Kakuna, just use Struggle, which will hurt ourselves in the process, go back to the Pokemon Center, heal our HP, search for more Metapod and Kakunas, splash, 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 flee, struggle, Pokemon Center, Metapod Kakunas, splash, <laughs> flee, struggle, rinse, lather, repeat. We can also get a potion from our PC box, as well as this guy from Route 1. And there's a few others scattered throughout the area, so get as many as you can find. Also, sell the items you don't need in order to buy more potions, because those are more important right now. After several, and I mean several hours, we finally hit level 15. I don't think I've ever used any move in the history of Pokemon more than Splash, thanks to this challenge. Splish. We know Tackle, so the whole process will be so much faster now. We don't have to use Splash anymore. And from here on, we only have to play a few more hours before we can get Gyarados. I decided to challenge the rival west of Viridian City, and yeah, it went pretty well. I was able to stomp its Pidgey and surprisingly beat up its Bulbasaur. I didn't think I would win because it's a water type versus a grass type, but here comes Flub. You don't f with Flub. Okay, after a little extra grinding, we finally got our Gyarados and this was probably one of the most exciting evolutions I've ever experienced. I can't tell you how long this took, but there you have it. We got Gyarados. I love you, Flub. You're amazing. And the rest of the game is a breeze. It's so satisfying to mow down all the bug catches from Viridian Forest. And you can stomp Brock, you can pile drive Misty, and you can steamroll through Lieutenant Surge. So there you have it. I feel like, you know, that was a very fun challenge.